Hello guys, Ben Stevens 56 here. This is part 8 of Verse Dungeon Order for Ocarina of Time 3D. In the last episode, I beat the... That one, I, I beat that one. Yeah, I beat the Fire Temple. So in this episode, I will be beating the Force Temple. Now, in this next little segment here, uh, it's very important that I have Bottle on Y. A usable item on X and absolutely nothing on the 2 button. Other than that, I am pretty much can do whatever I want. So, I'm going to grab a fish. Take off my tunic. And now... I wait. So suspenseful. And so silently, <laughs> Link drifts away. And once again, we perform our death hole glitch. Once here in the Lakeside Laboratory, I can dump my fish. And once again, I am going to do quick draw here, as I did way earlier. And I'm going to use that to dupe a bottle over my B button, but I still want that fish. So I'm going to dump it out of my B bottle and recatch it in the bottle I have on my Y button. And now, I'm going to quick draw the hook shot. And. Do that, which is not actually what I wanted to do. Because I'm bad. So I'm going to recatch that. Quick draw hook shot. And. What? I don't know why that's not working. Sometimes this trick just gets me, dude. Sometimes it just gets me. There we go. So now, I'm gonna get Ferrora's Wind and Bomb Shoes. Now that I have my bottle on my B button, I'm going to use this bomb to, to beat me up. One, two, three, and that should be enough now that I have only a heart left. So I'm going to warp away with Ferrora's Wind. Ah, where am I? I'm falling. Gee whiz. Oh, I'm dead. Okay, so basically what that did right there was that put me somewhere spooky. Oh boy. And gee, guess what? I'm in the forest temple. Yeah. Oh boy. So I'm just going to go and beat this dungeon. So the reason I did all that shenanigans is I once again wanted a Deku Stick on my B button. And Deku Sticks actually don't break when you hit them against uh, Skull Tulas. Pretty wacky. Alright, so we're just going to run along here, scurry along, I'm going to set Ferrara's Wind right here, this will be for later, if 
forgot. Alright. Oh wow, I've, I've never had to do this without sword, dude. It's weird. Alright, there we go. So I clip out of bounds there, using the strange collision on the banister, and I fall into the loading zone for the boss room. So, that's all the Force Temple we're going to see. That's... That's actually it. <laughs> pretty weird. It's a pretty long dungeon too, but we actually never need the item, the bow that is in this dungeon, so we just carry on without it. So this boss isn't too bad. Link says as he swings his Kokiri shield. So, I guess what I'm going to have to do here is use my trusty bottle to take care of this guy. Uh, he's, he's playing tricky here. And my useful little hammer. Alright, and he's dead. Courtesy of the Megaton Hammer. That fight's actually a little scary. Because uh, I'm, not, I'm not used to having to fight him with a bottle. Or the hammer. But interesting way of taking care of him. That's for sure. Alright, so now that that's over, I'm actually, for once, going to grab the heart container. Imagine that. And just like the others, I'm going to skip the cutscene for this dungeon using the exact same trick. Alright. So now I'm here, and I'm not quite done. See, I have all these Deku Sticks, but I don't actually want them, so I'm just going to break them. Alright, so I have no more Deku Sticks. Now I'm going to do a ledge clip to skip the Song of Time block, since I still don't have the Song of Time. And now, I'm going to do a new trick called a hookshot jump. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. All you need to do is take off the boots as you fire the hookshot upwards, and with good timing, of course, and that gives you a hookshot jump. So now what I'm going to do is, now that I have Deku Sticks on my B button, but I don't have any, I'm going to use my bottle on my B button, or my bottle, this bottle, and I'm going to dupe over my B button. So now I have bottle on B once again, and now I don't want Deku Nuts actually, it's kind of not what I wanted. 
How do I kill these guys to get Deku sticks? How do I do that? That's what I want. Not Deku nuts, I want Deku sticks. I know there's a way to do this, I just have to figure out what it is. Maybe we're going to have to try a different strategy here for this. Because this isn't working quite the way I thought it would. All Deku Nuts, dude. I don't want your silly Deku Nuts. Huh, I guess I should have messed with this before I started recording. <laughs> I just figured this would work. Hmm. Well... That's a thing. Well, I guess that just means that I will be on my way. I guess what I'm going to do here then is it didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to. But I have my bottle and my pee button and that is what I want. I guess I will come here. Oh, these these guys aren't here. That's my own fault. Wait, are none of them here? Yeah, I don't think any of them are here. My fault. See, look how well I know this game. Whew. Golly. So, after uh, that clusterfuck... What I'm actually going to do is come up here and not fall. That is not what I'm going to do. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh! Didn't mean to lift him. And there's this handy dandy chest back here. That'll give me two hundred. Uh... These gold gauntlets, dude, they're they're ripped. Now we'll go this way. I'll just buy a bunch of sticks. I think 
That ought to be enough. Alright, 14 is the lucky number of sticks that I need. So now that that's over, I say it's about time that we head on over to the Temple of Time. Now, normally I would just save warp, but in this situation I actually cannot do that. So I gotta take the long walk back. Golly. Well, that was definitely uh, interesting, my not knowing what the heck to do with uh, getting Deku sticks. Alrighty. So finally, back to Hyrule. Now, because we've already beaten the Spirit and Shadow Temple, when I enter, the Light Arrow cutscene plays. Now, this cutscene is quite long actually and uh it's it's around five minutes long so it's it's pretty boring but you know the funny thing is we don't actually even need light arrows but something very interesting happens at this particular moment Yada yada yada. Long stupid cutscene. Alright, so that was part one of the cutscene, now we gotta mash more text. I apologize, this part's kinda boring, but it's necessary. So the reason we need to watch this cutscene, actually, is for a part coming up very soon. I love those purple gauntlets. They're so good. So, the entire reason we're watching this cutscene is because of this particular scene right here. Now, if you look closely at my inventory, it's kind of dim, but because this cutscene depicts the child uh, cutscene here, it actually makes your inventory your child item. So it's like you're becoming child and then going back adult after this part of the cutscene ends. Now, since I have bottle on my B button, uh, when I go back to child, I'm actually performing a glitch called bottle adventure. Not reverse bottle adventure, mind you, but Bottle Adventure. They're actually kind of terrible names and should be at least switched around, but I did something called Bottle Adventure. And after that cutscene, you'll see exactly what that means.
It's still going, dude. It's a long cutscene. Ah, uh, Zelda. Yeah. Alright, so with that in mind, using the bottle adventure technique, I now have the boomerang! Somehow. So the thing is, the next dungeon obviously is Jabu Jabu's belly, uh, but the door of time's still here, so I can't really become child. I mean, there are ways around it, but, like, come on, this is a lot of fun. So, I think we've had enough setup uh, for this episode, so, uh, I will save Jabu Jabu's belly for the next episode, but till then, yeah, this is pretty sick. Uh, later. <laughs>